was that, what was that like to, you know, I, mean, I know that's just a regular recruiting trip, but now maybe think in <coughs> retrospect how much could have been different about Ohio State had he decided to come here? Uh, could have been a lot different. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, you know, it's tough to speculate, you know, what would have happened. Uh, but uh, it definitely could have been a lot different. It's like, to me, it's like maybe Braxton wouldn't have come. Maybe he would have, you know, just how different things could have potentially been. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you have any specific memories about maybe a time you had with, with Taj while you guys were out here together? Or mm. out the corners nah. together? Nah, no, no, no nothing, that, not, nothing that really jumps out. Um, how's it been without or with Everett Withers? Has there been any difference in terms of just the way you guys have prepared or anything like that? Or has it just kind of been the way it was before? I yeah, I think uh, Coach Withers has always done a great job at uh, preparing us, getting us prepared for the game. So that hasn't changed. I think that uh, his mood, I think he's a, he's a little more, you know, more happy, uh, you know, a little more smiles. But, uh, you know, that's expected, you know, getting a head coaching job. I mean, jeez. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everything's been the same. Everything's been great. Is it nice to know that you guys have played a role in, in his success? I mean, the way he, they've obviously seen the way that you guys have developed and, and what he's done here at Ohio State, both on the recruiting trail and whatnot, is it nice to kind of maybe have played a small role in helping him see, you know, more success in his personal life? Uh, you know, yeah, it's cool. But, uh, you know, just more – just more uh, – more gratitude and just just knowing him and uh, being able to, you know, be one of his players and get coached by him. Uh, he's a tremendous coach, and uh, you know, it's exciting to see your coach going to be a head coach. A little bit of a rework secondary now. What can we expect out of that? Uh, we'll have to see. Um, you know, got some young guys in there, but uh, they're young, talented guys. Uh, so hopefully, they can come out there and uh, make a difference in the game. What's the mindset of the team right now? I mean, first time in two years coming off a loss and. Maybe a little bit of disappointment not being in Pasadena and having to play in the Orange Bowl instead. Yeah, it's t I mean, I mean, yeah, the goal was to you know be a national championship, but uh, you know we got the next best thing. Um, you know, can't sit there and dull on that. We uh, had to focus on the task at hand, and that's at the Orange Bowl, which is a great bowl, a great opportunity, and uh, we're gonna try to get the win. How different is this trip from two years ago when you guys were up in Jacksonville? <laughs> uh, a lot different. Uh, Plan for, you know. Playing for a bigger prize, uh, you know, yeah. Nice. A lot of people are, are saying they have the advantage at receiver. You've been asked a lot about their receivers. Does it give the defensive backs motivation going into this game to kind of prove, hey, don't kind of discount us uh, in this conversation? Uh, yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think our, I mean, I don't think there's a lack of confidence from our DBs. I think that we uh, we believe in ourselves and we think that we're good. Um, but yes, this is a, a this is a chance to uh, you know to prove you know to the doubters and a lot of doubters that uh, you know that that we can play that we can play well. And I think uh, you know we have to go out there and prove it.